Hello and welcome back to Rift Clixus Gaming Time with Day 6 and it looks like we have had a really good haul tonight so let's see what we got yesterday and of course again we have been raided so I think we cancelled the last episode with let's see we got the materials and parts that's good well and dandy but we still need food someone tried to rob us they were just a couple of scavengers, so they didn't do much harm. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. Katya was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Okay, so Paul, you are currently hungry and tired. And Katya, you are slightly wounded. So, for the moment, I think I will have Katya recover as with Paul and then I will have Bruno do his magic and I will let him sleep while after Paul is okay again so let's see I guess I still can't craft a knife though because uh, I still need weapon parts and I can just forget about upgrading uh, this metal workshop can't even remember what to get from upgrading it so it should be fine to find out Probably a weapon of some sorts. Let's see. We have not caught anything in our trap yet. Which can't be good. Or promising. So let's go and check what we have here. Our herbal garden. Could do that. But it doesn't look like we have a... Uh, or we can't do that. I mean. Because it doesn't look like we have uh, the components. Or still the wood. Because... Every th time I want to use my wood to something, or I should say something useful. No. Every time I want to sp save up wood for my herbal garden, I'm using it for something else. Like a workshop, like a shovel, like a trap, which takes five. It's a small amount, but when I'm making a trap plus the distillery, suddenly it takes uh, or consumes a lot. So let's see. We are currently very, or uh, we have had uh, two raids for the moment, I think. So I think we can board up our uh, our place, our little house here. That would be perfect to try to avoid uh, them uh, thieves from stealing. Yeah. So let's see. I will board up this place. And I will see when Bruno is okay again. No, Bruno is here. And he is plenty okay because he had extra food for a couple of days ago. So, Paul, we will have to wait for you to get, uh, don't get tired again. Or you to be uh, steady and ready for the night again, at least. And then Bruno can uh, change seats. Okay, it looks like, uh, looks like uh, this place is pretty bored up right now. So, we have a trader. That was just what I had in mind. Not really, but you know, what don't you say? So, since we have Katya, she is pretty good at bargaining. So I think we can make, or we can't make any more because we boarded up some uh, places which used 10 wood. So now we are even further away from the herbal garden. But we still need... Uh, or I was thinking about moonshine, uh, but we still need uh, some wood for those. And uh, if we can make some uh, moonshine, I guess it could be good for business with Katya. But Bruno, uh, I wish I could have you sleep a minute, but I think we have to get make Katya recover from her wounds, and then you can go back, or when she is recovered. Oh. That's nice. Okay, Paul, you are ready to take over, and Bruno, lay down and get some sleep. Perfect. So let's see. Actually, I don't think there's much to do tonight or today. What I do can do is to make, or not, not, not both of them, but I can sell one pill. That's okay. I can do that. And what will I ask for it? some weapon parts would be perfect for my uh, opinion then I can finally craft myself a knife 
and we will need some wood and uh, we could have some fuel too so we can have uh, loads of meals in the future without having to spend uh, our wood <laughs> okay so we have some wood I don't think we have uh, a big necessity for ammo so no, he doesn't want any food or he doesn't want to trade any food but I think Oh, it's actually fairly close. Okay then, this is the deal. You can have one box of pill for all of this. That's fine and dandy. But now we have to go, and I will see if I can craft myself a knife. There we go, and Katya, you can go back to sleep. Here we go, a knife it is, so we can have uh, self-defense when the nights come. Let's read in her bio. I grew up in this city, but went aboard to study and started working as a reporter. I've been away for years, but the, the troubles, uh, when the troubles escalated into a war, I picked uh, to uh, write reports on it. I'd volunteered anyway. I was anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins. My family had disappeared. I've been looking for them for them ever since. It's kinda odd, I was just was waiting to skip tonight. I was just going to craft myself a knife and then suddenly I wanted to read her bio. You know, when you see something blinking, you just know you have to click on it. Isn't that right? We need to stick together and help each other, otherwise we might uh, share the fate of the man from the squats. Yeah, the man from the squat, that was the homeless guy, which was begging for food, like, all the time, even though I didn't have any, so I couldn't give him. But currently, our food supply is fairly low, so I think we can skip the day for the moment, and we can see what's coming up. So, it doesn't look like there is anything new today, or tonight, that is. But it does look like we have to find some food. Which we will have uh, our pole out and going for. And... Ouch. They're both slightly wounded. So... I suppose we can have them both sleep. If... Yeah, I boarded up the windows today. And I was raided uh, yesterday. So, if I get raided... After this night, I'm going to be seriously in a wrecked mood. Like, why is this happening to me? Okay, so let's see. I don't want to go to the supermarket because it's danger. But I was there the first time I played, and uh, then the uh, uh, people were, which were there gave me a free entrance in, so I guess I can try. After what I can remember, I didn't need to break up anything, but I think I will bring a crowbar, since I might have to fight. So I'll take that with me, and I will go scavenge. And if I die, well, then I'm dead. Sim as simple as that. Okay, so let's see, I think we can go upstairs first. Oh, there we go. Okay, I, I guess that's robbers. Oh, okay, I guess not. Oh, shh. I can't go in there. So sh she's flirting with uh, the bandits. I think it was bandits, did I didn't read the fluff text. Why didn't I read the fluff text? I should always read the fluff text. Okay, so let's see, where can I go? If I look inside here, I think I can try to attack him from behind, because I'm afraid he is going to attack her. Okay, let's go in. Okay, this is not going to go well for me. No, how, how come I can't attack? Attack! No! I'm severely wounded. Ah! Oh, I was shot from the back. 
I was just trying to save her. What's so wrong with that? My fighting experience, or rather, the game doesn't want me to win. Paul has died. Paul was killed looking for supplies. Oh god, that's brutal. It's, there's no coffee. The sadness is overwhelming. <laughs> okay. I guess... Uh, well, he's still wounded. Uh, she's okay now. So, I guess I will have to do something. <laughs> Even though I, I, don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I, I am uh, just as the same as those. I don't really want to laugh, but I'm doing it anyway. And, uh... Like, Paul never returned, man. Paul never returned. So what's I'm, what am I supposed to do? He, he was, uh... My best man. My really best man, too. At least now I know that the supermarket is dangerous, and I don't really want to go over there again. At least with a, not without a gun. So let's see, this animal trap still hasn't gotten anything. What has it been a, the third day now? Yeah, I think it's been the third day. And if I haven't caught anything in three days, then no, I don't think I want to invest in uh, one of those anymore. If I can have a, a dozen of them running up here, and uh, then I would hopefully have, to have uh, supplies for ever. Hopefully, at least. So let's see. It doesn't look like there's anything I can create for the moment. And I don't have any food, so I will probably be very hungry the next uh, day. I will wait until half time. And then I will skip the day to see if uh, I have uh, had any visitors or will get any visitors. That is. So let's see the distillerator. My clean water place. What do you have for me? Yeah, I can probably create some filters. I will just have to check uh, what they are made out of. Components, I hope. Tree. So three components for four clean water. I don't really see the worth. It's just like changing materials for the negative. I can have with me ten clean water each day, and uh, only four components. So I'll guess I'll just have to find some uh, some place uh, with a lot of water, and hopefully then just live with it. Or not live with it. I'm just rambling about, ain't I? So let's see. It's soon half time. And then we can skip to the night. And tonight, I'm sorry us, but I'm probably going to rob the old people. I would like to refrain it. But, you know, you can't get what you wish for every time. You just can't. So let's see. Oh! Oh! I actually get a lot of new things today. So let's see. Bruno, I'm sorry, but you have to go at guard. And Katya, you have to scavenge. So let's see. The hotel. A small yet luxurious hotel previously owned by Pogorin's travel agency, presently occupied by some armed thugs. Screams were sometimes heard from coming from the building. It's best to keep away from it. Okay then. I guess it's like the supermarket. I won't go in. So let's see. City Hospital. It's been shelled sh several times, but there was a fire and numerous bandit raids. And yet, it still operates. Some wards still admit patients to save lives, mostly thanks to Dr. Uh, Yefnov, a renowned uh, surgeon who remains steadfast and uh, keeps the others at line. It's still cautious advice though, so I can't understand that theory, since they're helping people. But I guess if I come in suddenly and abruptly, they might feel 
a bit dangerous uh, near me. So I'll check out the other places first. The shelled school. This school was damaged by mortal shells. No classes held for a long time. <laughs> Recently a group of rebel uh, militiamen uh, moved into the abandoned building. They might be willing to trade with us. Possible trade. Dangerous. Hmm. They are rebels though, so... I don't know how safe they are. And there is possible danger. Though I'm probably going to re repeat everything here again. If I stay on a page, so I'll just continue on to the small apartment building. This old apartment building used to be, uh, used to be owned by an elderly couple and their son. But they fled uh, f before the siege. There are rumors of some shady looking well armed individ individuals take a refuge there. We are better be careful if we decide to go there. So, there is food, but I'm sorry guys, I don't have anything. And I can't afford to lose Katya too, so I'll have to go to the quiet house. There is a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's uh, a call Maria of little houses with uh, porches and gardens. Most of the houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives there. We've got nothing to look for there unless we are willing to steal. So, as much as it pains me, I'll just have to go there. I'm sorry whoever is inside the house, but I just have to do this. And besides, it's kind of unfair that you live like normal when I'm out starving, so I'll feel half bad about it, but you know, I'm sad from before, so I'll see if I become very sad or just mad. No, no, just ignore me. I'm not doing anything. I'm just stealing your stuff, which you say you have already sold, so you know. No, no, don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just going to loot everything. And with that, I mean probably everything. At least the food, because I do need food. Or else I'm going to starve to death, and that wouldn't be very pleasant, now would it? So let's see. I can leave a meat, a raw food. The vegetable, that's two meals in one, with uh, one raw food and one vegetable, so I can do that one. And uh, clean water, of course. That's always helpful. And I think we needed sugar to our alcohol, but I can wait with uh, bringing, the, bringing it with me. So let's go and check the other places in the building. No, no, don't worry, it's not what we're looking for valuables. Just some parts and electronic parts. There we go. And let's check the cupboard. Some parts again, I really want to take it with me, but I don't think I need it right now. Okay, I can I can refrain, refrain from the medicine. I can do that. Because I'm not... It's just me to take the medicines of people who actually need them for the current moment. So let's see. It looks like this place is locked for the current moment, and I don't want to bring the crowbar with me. So, I will check the outside, and then I will probably go. It's a cupboard and a big rubble. A pile of rubble. So let's see, what's in this cupboard? Oh, nothing, okay. But I re <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really do want to fill up my inventory. So, I saw you have some herbs. So I can do those, and then I can go. Or actually, I think I could do the sugar instead. It's not healthy for you. Pure sugar, no, no, no. You can avoid it. I'm doing this for your own sake, except for the food. But the sugar, it's for you. I promise you. I'm just saying this to make my confidence feel bigger. I'm not confident, but you know. 
Maybe uh, my characters don't uh, won't become so sad. But day eight and goodbye for this episode. Hope you enjoyed and bye bye.